All right, Haba. One, two, three. Potato, potato, right? Let's go ahead and see what this turns into. Oh, it's kind of cute. All right, guys. Well, a rush cutlet. That will actually help give her more speed. And look at her. Well, welcome back to Falcon Age, everyone, where we are here with our beautiful Vansuki, also known as Haba, and she is definitely prepared for war. She's got the sonar bit on her back now. She's got digging claws and to be able to dig mines, land mines, up out of the sandy soil for me. She's got on a rubber beak and she even has on a specialty eye patch that I like to imagine helps enhance her sight, even though that one's just cosmetic. But, wow. I mean, between looking at her and our auntie, thinking about the way that our mom just wants us to come off world and work for the outer ring company, and where we could have a house with cafes and possibly even a pet from amongst this list of pets. It makes me wonder if we're doing the right thing, putting her into the middle of all this battling. But I think we are. This is her planet and home we're trying to save after all. And if we let the robots really destroy it, there's not gonna be much left for any of us. But all right, so let's see what we've actually got. Several of the sweet green buns, rush cutlet, we've got some shock proofing. Let's see, some defense boosting. A couple of those. Lots of impact grenades, hopefully that'll be enough. Another super samosa. And all of that to try to shut down Refinery Uva. So, let's go. Alright, let's get this out. Let's go ahead and save so that, uh, pardon me, let's go ahead and get a refreshing drink of water. Just so we don't lose all of the really awesome treats that we just made. Gather up a few of these. In fact, let me pick from this bush too. I mean, I guess it's a cactus rather than a bush. And I'm kind of wondering if we should go and visit our little farm, but that's not really where we're headed. Oh, and there's another bag already. I wonder who keeps leaving all those there. All right, let's see. Come on down, Hava. What'd you find? Good job, girl. All right, so she found some more credits for us and some more ore. Let's see if we can get her the bunny that typically hides around here. All right, come on, Hava. We'll work together. Oop, 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 oop. Nope. <laughs> All right, sorry, little one. I'm glad that, I, on one level, I'm glad it could escape, though, because we have a lot of food for Hava right now. We don't really need to terrorize the local bunny population for more just yet. All right, let me look at this. So if we continue on through here, we're going to enter a minefield. And after that, we enter the biggest refinery I think we've seen yet. Refinery Uva. All right, well, let's do our best. Maybe we'll get some answers about what kind of future we actually want. And if we do this, I wonder if our mom might really be against it. Oh, are you guys all right? Oh, hey, it's that guy again. It looks like he was over here to try this minefield now. My brother and I are cursed. Everywhere we go, mines. More mines. That sounds less like a curse and more like living in a colonized, conquered colony. I'm going to find mines in my bed, I swear. Or in my breakfast. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the Outer Ring Company decided that people were too much trouble. I'm going to meet my bride one day and it's all a mine underneath. No luck getting through, huh? What do you think? Inish wouldn't be standing there catching his breath from nearly being exploded so many times if we'd had anything that looked like luck. Where are you going anyway? Honestly, we don't know yet. Somewhere nicer than this, I guess. We planned on going deeper into the wilderness. See if there's good farming land there still. That sounds pretty reasonable. It is, because I'm reasonable, unlike my brother. Wait, so the people here are trapped? They can't leave, even to their own wilderness? Isn't that terrifying? Ugh, that just gives me goosebumps. Imagining a people surrounded by fences and bombs and sentries and bots and cameras watching you to keep you hemmed in in one area until you become a more useful resource. We shouldn't let things like that happen. We shouldn't. 
He could find reason if you nailed it to his backside. If only we had some way to dig out those mines. Hmm. You could try, but you'd be dead. No, you need to dig out these mines. If I had a bird or drone that could fly over the topsoil and then carefully pry them out with the dirt. Well, I do have something like that. You hear that, Anish? That's the voice of someone who came prepared. Wouldn't hurt if you learned from it. <laughs> okay, I think that Enish probably can't hear very well after all the bombs exploding, so thanks for everything. Okay then, thanks for the help. Bye. <laughs> I swear, sometimes she's just such a sassy girl. Alright. Here we go, dear. Be careful, okay? Do we get to keep the bombs, I wonder? Oh, look at that! We do! We actually get to keep the disabled landmines. I wonder if we can actually drop them. Let's actually take a peek at that. Trade in for scrap. Ah, nah. Once it's out, then it must be completely disabled. Well, we won't waste too much time picking more than we need. I hear all of them. Good job, Hava. Without your help, I would literally be dead. All right, this one next. I, I'm not gonna risk you more than we need to, okay? Mm, this path might be a little too tricky though. One, two, three, maybe four more, and then we can make it to the other side. Hopefully there won't be more to find after this. Oh boy, one, two, three. There we go. Good job, Hava. This one. Yeah, three more, I think. Maybe less than that, and then we can get to the other side. Two. I probably could have tried to sneak around that one, but it's gonna be like instant death if you end up blowing up, you know? Oh, I think we could actually sneak over here. Good job, Hava. I'll remember we can sneak over here next time. All right, what do we have? Let's open you on up. And a new recipe? A new recipe! Three of those beet hearts for a sweet crush patty recipe, huh? I bet that would probably increase charisma quite a bit on our beautiful, beautiful girl. Let's see. Oh, that gives you the 10% charisma. Versus we have charisma too if you add a little bit of the rabbit or the fox meat to it. A little nervous about this, but I do have some bombs. Probably should have bought a lot more of them. Whoa. You know, just the worrying about sandstorms, dust devils, sand wolves, the usuals. That's probably enough to keep you busy on this world, let alone trying to take out a gigantic refinery like this. Alright, anything down here? No, we're good. Let's do this. Look at the size of this thing. They're just sending me and a bird in alone to do all of this? I mean, there's like oh, seven of us left, so on the one hand, I can't blame them. All right, let's search down here first. I just want to make sure we don't miss anything before we go up there. Oh, look. Excellent, excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some of our bombs. We know what to do from here. Let's actually give Hava- Hava! Come here, girl! Let's give you a bit of a defense boost before you have to go up against that thing. I'm gonna try to be fast about this, okay? So you eat this, and then take this. Do you have it? Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, grab it. Did I- did I not- hold? okay. Give it to her. Oh no, I love you too! I love you too! Very much. There you go. Alright. Drop the bomb! While she has that defense boost on, maybe it will help prevent her from being darted as much as it might try to do. Alright. Come on, sweetie! Ah, oh, she did it, you guys! I'm so proud! Are you good? Do you have any injuries? Ah, oh, fantastic. Can you reach there if I sent you with the bomb? Probably. Alright, Hava. Here you go, quickly. While we can. Still got a good defense boost. A little bit of stealth like this really helps. Alright, come on, girl. Come on. 
Come on, you've got it. You've got it. Good, good, good. Now come back. Now come back. Oh, you guys, look at what a wonderful bird she is. She doesn't even know how she's helping to save this place, and she's helping to save so many people. All right, up you go for a second, dear. Let's see if we can try to get some more of those terrible... Ah, look at that! I think I can even send her all the way over there with this bomb. And we'll get as many of these without even getting up on the refinery as we can. All right, Hava. Actually, let's get you another defensive boost. The last little one seemed to help a lot. There you go. All right, while that's active, this is amazing. All right, while that's active, swoop attack. Okay, please bomb it. You can do it. Oh, there's a bag on the cliff. I can hardly see it. I hope whoever dropped that's okay. She did it. She swoop attacked that. Wait. Oh, I see. So all she has to do is swoop attack. She doesn't need to bomb that. <sighs> That's a relief. Maybe I'll go ahead and take that back from you then. Thanks, girl. Do you want to go ahead and get that? I hardly even noticed, but there is actually a bag over there. I hope nobody was, like, climbing this and ended up slipping and falling to their doom. All right. Come on, Hava. Go ahead and bring that to me. She's doing so good. All right, what is this? Oh, a new special item. Oh, I think somebody was trying to mine some of the stuff on the cliffside. Oh, <gasps> wow, maybe it's a magnetic one so that if you drop your hammer while you are mining ores, you'd be able to get it back again. That would make a lot of sense to me. Okay, a few things done already. <sighs> to be fair, that was all just kind of starters, wasn't it? Let's see, what is that? Can I get that? What is that? Okay. Is that... I see... Some trouble over there. Is that a thing I can do anything about? No, it's not. All right. So I think I, we need we need to kind of pick our poison, pick our location of trouble first. Um. And I think we'll go this way first. Let's try this out. Thank goodness that short circuits it. Oh boy. All right, so we're gonna go this direction first and see what we find. I think shut down refinery Ulva. Excuse me, Uva. All right, we already came over here, so can I get over here? Nice. No rare food hiding in here. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Okay, you guys, we've set off the alarms. Everybody's coming on in. All right, I'm not gonna be able to get back to that guy. In time. Okay, come on. Dang it. There we go. Oh, jeez. Is that guy doomed now, or are we... No, we're gonna have to wait until he comes back up. Okay. All right, well, things are gonna be a little more complicated than I thought. Everything is now open. <laughs> and we're gonna have to just slowly and surely make our way up to the top and make sure that we don't miss a single one of the spots where we're gonna need to come through. Let's wait until this brat comes back over here. All right, but we're going to need to make sure we don't miss a single one of the spots where we are going to need to turn off the different parts of the refinery and leave no robot behind so that they don't end up sneaking up on us and destroying us. So I'm going to come back over here. Come on, Hava. This guy. We're going to take down these shock robots because if they touch my skin, apparently that's going to be a doom. Here we go. 
All right. And together, I think we're gonna get this just fine. So, all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for hope and uh, some skill to be able to conquer what we have here for this refinery. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.